you're expecting a baby, you may have questions about how to best continue your prenatal care during COVID-19. I recently talked with one doctor who says you absolutely should still make those doctor's appointments, but you should ask about possible alternatives as well. So this is definitely a scary time for everyone, just since this is new to all of us. UAB's Dr. Rachel Sinke says when it comes to prenatal care, ask your doctor about virtual options. So we really have supplemented several of our visits with telemedicine wherever possible, just so that way the patient doesn't have to come and be exposed um, uh, within the, the hospital or outpatient setting. I asked her if women who are expecting are considered higher risk. She emphasized we're learning as we go, but pointed to a group of 43 pregnant women in Columbia with COVID-19. Their breakdown of patients who were um, mild or critical were very similar to the general population. For instance, about 85% of their pregnant patients with COVID had what they would consider mild disease and less than 5% had critical disease. So we're seeing a very similar distribution to the general population. Dr. Sinke says at this point, if a pregnant woman gets coronavirus, it does not appear to increase the risk of preterm birth or birth defects. She also says that it does not appear based on their current understanding that a baby can contract the disease in utero. But when moms are scared that their baby may get it, we have not seen that um, yet. And so I think that's really reassuring. And of course, we are continuing to watch that. If a mom does have COVID-19 when she gives birth, she and the baby will have to be separated for a short time in order to decrease the risk of spread to the infant. Now, in terms of all deliveries, they're similar to how they've been in the past, she says, but doctors are limiting the number of partners allowed in the room to just one, again, to minimize the risk of spreading the virus.